Hello students, today we are going to discuss uh, the next tense that is present perfect continuous tense. Now you have to remember one thing in mind that in present perfect continuous tense we are focusing on how long the action continued. How long? As I have written here, how long did the action continue? Before that, we'll continue, we'll see what is the basic structure of the sentence. We know that the subject is there, it could be singular or plural. For singular subject, we have a helping verb that is has and for plural it is have. Then we have another been form that is the perfect form, V3 form of B. This is the V3 form of B. And then we have continuous V1 plus ING. Then we also tell about the time by using since and for. Since is used for the point of time and for is used for the duration of time. And then we have the object. So this is the basic structure of uh, present per perfect continuous sentence. Now let's begin with the usage. And we also know very well that suppose we have to make the negative of this sentence, then we can make it by adding a not here, that she has not been living here since 1990 or 2000. She has not been living here since 2010. Then suppose we have to make the interrogative, then we will bring the has or have in the front and has she been living here since 2010 or have they been living here since 2010. These are the sentences that uh, you can form when you are making negative or you are making interrogative of the sentence. So this is, this was the interrogative and here if you add not, this was the negative of the sentence. Now let us see uh, what are the different usages. Now one usage we have already seen that is the most important one is how long. How long the action continued. So here remember how long. Let's see the examples. We use the present perfect continuous for an action which started at some point of time in the past. It is continuing right now and it may continue even in the future. So this tense is often used with the time expressions of how long. Then we can use since and we can use for, for telling the time. How long have you been waiting here? I have been waiting here for two hours. I have been waiting here since morning. Then they have been repairing the bridge for four months. How long they have been repairing? They have been repairing for four months. Then this tense is also used for an action already finished. The results of the action happen in the present. See this right now. Till now we saw the action is going on right now as well as may, maybe in the future. But right now there is an action which is completed. What is it? I have, I am very tired. So what is the possible, what is it that you are tired about? Because I have been playing tennis. Action is completed. But you are telling that this action just happened. I have been playing tennis. Then the children's hair is wet because what they had been doing? They have been swimming. So their hair is wet in the river. The children have been playing since 4.30. So in the river we can say for 2 hours and if it is a point of time we can say uh, 4.30. Whatever it is a.m. or it is p.m. It has been raining for an hour. So, it has been continuing. It started in the past. Right now it is going on and maybe for some time in the future. So, it has been rain. It has been raining. Okay. Then we have, she has been working in this school for six years. 
she has been working that means 6 years earlier she started working and she is going uh, the continue uh, the tenure is still going on and she will continue in future also so till now 6 years have completed and the process is still going on then for some actions we can use either the present perfect or the present perfect continuous with verbs like I have been working, I have been living here, I have been staying here since 2010. So you can use these kind of verbs. For example, there is almost no difference in meaning between the last sentence. That means I have been, she has been working in the school for six years. She has been working or you can just say she has worked in this school for six years. That also means right now also the action is going on. So, for example, there is almost no difference in the meaning between last sentence and this one. That is, she has worked in this school for about six years. So, she has been working is almost similar to she has worked. Okay, and we have written that how long six years has been given here also and six years have been given here also for how long then we see don't use the present continuous tense obviously here you can use this one or this one but not present continuous that she is uh, i am reading since 7 30 it is not such a long action here to use present continuous I have been reading since 7.30 is the right one. See the exercises that follow, exercise that follows. Fill in the blanks with the verbs in the box. Use the present perfect continuous. First one. They have been playing tennis since 4 o'clock. So this is what they have been doing. He has been watching television for over an hour. Okay. Has been watching so time is also given and the action is also proceeding rupa and rekha have been dashed to the cassettes listening to the cassettes since 9 30 a point of time has been given and the action is continuing then i dash french last month okay so we can see here that i have been learning french since last month so the process has started and is going on and even may continue in the future. So he has been plant, uh, it is watering the plant since 6 o'clock and he has been painting the gate for about 2 hours. So this is how the exercise goes. Next, let us see past perfect tense. Past and perfect. So what happens in past perfect tense we have seen here present perfect we will now change it into past perfect now remember in past perfect you should always remember that there may be two actions here okay or i would just rub it and write again this is past and perfect tense so, what is the basic structure of the past perfect tense? See here, subject plus. For the past, we are you going to use helping verb had. Okay, this is the helping verb. And we are going to use the main verb in the V3 form. So, this is V3 plus it would be object. So, she had seen me, whatever. So, this is the basic structure of a past continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense. How to make the negative of this? The negative will be made by that uh, she had not done the work. She had not done the work. This is the negative. And how to make the interrogative? We will bring this here. Uh, so, had she done the work, this could be the 
interrogative sentence. Had she done the work? So this is a normal interrogative uh, question. You can form any other form of question also. Now let us see where and how do we use this tense. Now we have already seen this structure. Now remember, suppose there are two actions. What are these two actions? The as I reached the station, the train had left. So there are two actions. I reached the station, the train had left. So what happened? First the train left and then I reached the station. So I missed the train. So the first action will be or the earlier action will be in past perfect tense and the second action will be in the simple past tense. So you can write it in this way that as I reached the station, the train had left. So we know here that this is one action and this is one action. This happened later and this happened earlier. And here we are going to use simple past and here we are going to use past perfect. So these are the things you need to remember in this sentence. Let us see a few examples given in your book. Okay. So we use the past perfect tense for an action completed before a certain point of time in the past or before another action that, had, that has happened. We reached the station at, at 4.45. This is one action. But the train had already left. This is the second action. But this happened first. So because the train had left happened first. So we are using past perfect here. The sun had risen. It has risen. So this is the first action. When I got up. So you got up late. The sun had risen earlier. Mr. Das did, uh, did these things yesterday morning. He did the things in the order shown. So you can see there are four actions which have been given. And there is a particular order. So you already know that what is the order. First action, second action, third action and fourth action. He read the newspaper. This is the first action. Then he had breakfast. So what is, the, what is the first sentence? When he had read the newspaper, he had breakfast. Second, you see here, when he had breakfast, he watched TV. Then when he had watched TV, what happened? He talked to his friends. So in this way, Whenever you know the sequence of these, these uh, verbs or actions, you use the verbs appropriately. Next, work with another student. Fill in the blanks with the correct forms of the verbs given in brackets. Use the simple past or past continuous or past perfect. There are three tenses and use the most appropriate one. Saroj or Saroja burnt her hand while she was cooking the dinner. We had already seen short action, simple past, long action, past continuous. So Saroja burnt her hand while she was cooking the dinner. Next, Anil came at 10.30, you. So one action already happened. But before that, you had gone to bed by that time. First action and second action. Simple past, past perfect. Gopi fell asleep while he was reading the magazine. Fell asleep, short action, long action, was reading the magazine. Then we got to the cinema late, so the film had already started. The film had already started. You got there late. The boy fell while he was running. So the boy fell, a short action, while he was running a long action then he was feeling or he feels very tired because he has been playing football for two hours 
So this we have seen that right now what is his state because some action was going on in the past. He has been playing football for two hours. So these are the uh, exercises that we have seen. There is another topic given in your book and that is sequence of tense. Uh, if there are two, uh, first of all, there are, you should understand complex sentences, clauses, principal clause and subordinate clause, which is not actually taught to you till now. So later we will see this topic in detail. Right now you just understand one thing that when there are two actions in a sentence, two parts of a sentence, one a principal clause or a subordinate clause or simply two parts of a sentence. Remember, if the first part or first verb is in the past tense, the second verb should also be in the past tense. This is the first rule that you should follow. See the examples given and that is she replied, past tense. Again, past tense, that she felt better. Again, he saw, past tense, that the watch had stopped. Again, past tense. It is maybe the simple past tense or the past perfect, but it is the past tense. Then, he replied that he would come. He replied past tense. Would is again past tense. I took care that he should not hear me. I took care, past tense, that he should not. Should is again past tense. So, just one thing simply to remember, two verbs uh, that are there in a part of a sentence. It is a complex sentence. Two clauses are there. If in the first part it is past tense, in the second part also this will follow the past tense. There are however two exceptions. What are these two exceptions? In the first part it is simple past tense. In the second part it is simple present because you always know that whether it is quotations, whether it is a universal truth, general truth, or scientific truth, any such kind of a truth, then you always have to use simple present tense. So even if the first part is uh, past, second part is to be in the present. Uh, you can see the examples here. Newton discovered, what he discovered? That the force of gravitation makes apples fall. Makes, it still makes apple fall. So it is a truth. When the subordinate clause is introduced by then. Now it is telling us that suppose the first part has past tense and then we have a comparison by using then. Then we can use any kind of tense depending upon the situation. Though this is a, a little complicated topic uh, because uh, as to you and um, I would not like to give any questions from this but I'm just telling you because you will read this chapter again in your eighth class so I am giving you a little idea about it. You can see the examples given. He thinks that she is there. Now come to the exercises. See this? Insert the correct form of the verbs in the following. So correct form is to be written. As he. Now I had already told you that, the exa there, are, that there are different forms of be. And that is is, am, are and it can be was and were etc. So, you have to use the correct form of be here. As he was not there, I spoke to his brother. First part, uh, it is past and second part also past. As he ran away because, he ran away because he was afraid. Again, past, past. He ran as quickly as he could. Ran, past, so could also past. Whenever there is call, you will find iron because is is given present tense so you can find write it present tense so long as the rain uh, continued i stayed at home past and past combination now see fill in the blanks with an appropriate auxiliary verb or helping verb he said that he would give an early reply again said so we can write would give an early reply he asked again whether, whether supper, then asked, so would be ready soon. You make such a noise, you make such a noise that is present. So we know that the combination that is there here is past, past combination. So here in the sequence of tense, we 
we have seen a combination past tense followed by past tense normally if it is universal truth past tense followed by present tense if there is any comparison then past tense and there is a comparison by using than then it could be any tense that is uh, that would be uh, convey that would convey the meaning here so see the last exercise you make such a noise that i cannot work so present and present past and past is the combination then in order that he could learn the language quickly he engaged a teacher engaged a teacher is past so bring a past in the previous sentence also he said that he could do it he said so past again could do it could means a capability that is being shown and that is why you have to write a little knowledge of modals is also required here so this we would uh, better understand in the 8th class but here i have still discussed you for uh, this one for your understanding i hope that you have understood this chapter and here we come to the end of tenses please revise it nicely do the uh, complete the exercise and uh, communicate a lot and practice these tenses thank you